Hi everybody, welcome back to Kate Space. Welcome if you're new. Uh, I'm Kate from Pixie K Designs and we're going to continue with our Reader's Digest journals, turning these into writing journals. Uh, my brain won't let me decide which way is the right way on, on these. And this one has actually, they've bowed a little bit because of the wet glue, so I will put them under something heavy. So the so what we need to do now is, is a little bit of a, um, it's a great job, but it's a tedious job as well because we have to tear down and size up some papers. So basically, I get a piece of paper that I want to just use as a basic template. You don't want it to come over, but you could do all your pages and then tear them down, tear them down here later. And sometimes I do that because sometimes I fold them in and leave them. So there's a few in here I've left. Well, that that's actually an envelope, but there's a few I've left with. Um, course I won't be able to find it now here we go I've just left that out there it can be torn off turned into a pocket or written on and left it like that so that's the option so I'm going to kind of start arranging these at 11 about 11 signatures each I may reduce one down to nine so the first thing I'm going to start with is sort of my plain pages. I've got a whole lot of, wait a minute, sorry, avocado dyed and coffee dyed papers. So what I'm going to do is make them the right height. So I like them to be inside my cover for protection. Uh, so I will probably measure that and I'll probably go over to my cutter and cut them all the right height first. That seems like a good starting point for these. And I want, so I'm doing two journals. If they have 11, I need 22. So I'll do 11 11 avocado dye and 11 of these and then divide them between the two journals. So that is my first point is I'm going to do all the plain. Then I thought I would do a whole lot of ledger. Oops, sorry. These are huge and these are harder to sort of size. But I think I'll do, I'll work towards maybe one ledger every second. So that means I'd need 11 altogether. And I I'd, I'd kind of like a variety. I'm going to be able to get quite a few out of here. If we fold them this way, they're still going to be probably too wide. So we may have these like that. So I'll definitely, probably, definitely, probably cut them. So again, I'll do the height first. And then I've got one of my favourite ledgers here from 1909. So I'll probably do some of those. I love the creamy color of that. And then I've got this one here, which is not as old, but it's actually, it is quite brittle. So I will reinforce this one. And that, I'll work out how I'm gonna do that. That may end up going that way. So I need to think about that. That's got a big tear in it. So we'll just instantly rip that off. So this paper is a little bit brittle. I don't know why, because I don't think I don't think it's as old as these other ones. But oh, that one's not very old. So yeah, some of those. So all together, maybe I'll make twenty-two ledgers, and I can put them throughout. One, two. 
so that's going to do more than one per okay so that's ledger right so we've got plain and we've got ledgers and then the other thing I want to do is some um, just sort of plain uh, this is not dyed at all, but this is like a plain, it's just from a sketch pad. It's a little bit heavier and it's just a nice weight and it's got a nice feel to it. So I want to do some of those. Uh, I've got a bit of the dotted grid paper, which is out of like a lectern journal. So that's actually created for writing on, which is kind of good. And then I've got this which is sort of a yellowy, creamy paper. It's almost like a handmade paper, but it's got a nice texture to it. So I think I'll put some of those in. So that's actually, I'll take the dotted ones out. So that's sort of like my plain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And then I want to do some braille paper. So I've got the pink. So I'll put some of the soft pink braille. And this was, um, I don't know what, what book that is. This one here, I've got some of this brown. And this was Jane Eyre. I don't know if you can see, but I'm boxed up here as J-E. So I'll turn that into some pages. And then I've got some of the white. So I'll put that through, out. And then I've done some printing. So I've printed some, these are all Heather, Ruby and Pearl. And I've printed them at like 80% because I don't want to cut too much of the image off. Because I know that we're looking at about that. So I've probably made them a little bit too small. But that's okay. Um, they'll just be a smaller size. So I've got those. And I've copied those onto tea stains. So they'll be plain on the back. I was going to print on both sides. But decided I'm not going to do that. So that's like a patterned one. And this is also something from Ruby and Pearl as well that I've printed and that's the size that it is so I'll just cut that out and that'll be a smaller page right so that is enough to be going on with and then we will maybe get some pretty book pages like some floral book pages and put them in I want most of the pages to be able to be written on um I in mine some of them I've had to that they haven't been um, easy to write on so I've either covered them up or I've just done some collaging with some plain papers and written on that or in some cases I've just skipped it all together and just left it as a, a pretty page I can't find anything where I've done that but yeah this in here there are all sorts I think I'll put some pianola paper in that's going to be, I've done it double there and that's what I'll do because I think it makes it stronger and I'll probably just glue it down and I'll put some pianola paper in. I've done an envelope opened out and so I'll probably do an envelope and I'm not sure how much grid paper I've got left but I think I'll do some grid paper. Yeah, so I mean that's a digital but I'll easily be able to write on that one. Not so much there, but I could just either leave it as just a page not written on or um, cover it over. And again, we've got some book page here, beautiful old book page, which I won't write on. I might do, I don't know, I might just do some collaging or something on that and make it a, just a visual page. Right, so that's enough to be going on with at the moment, I think. So go through and choose all your pages. I mean, you could... Go really plain like this, you know. I've just chosen maybe one, two, just three or four different kinds of papers. And that's all I've put throughout. I haven't made 
put any pretty ones in or anything like that but i am going to put some nice pretty book pages in in this one like i have here um i've got all sorts i mean you could write on this maybe not so much this you might want to do a little bit of collaging on this one but not anything too vigorous but you could even just tear some plain paper and then you could write on this side of it or you could just write here obviously you can write on this one but not on this one so again you need to be a little bit creative and maybe use some of your tea stain paper or some other lined paper and just put a little bit of a lined or glue some paper on and make a flip out or something like that so there is room for creativity in these books but nothing bulky there's no room for anything real bulky i mean depending on how fat you want you like your journal some people really don't mind the big gator mouth big fatty journals so yeah all right so i'm gonna go away and cut all my papers to the right height and then i'll come back and we'll talk about folding them and putting them in order okay i'll be back soon right <laughs> um let's see where we are at i've got some lined paper this is repurposed and vintage this is out of some of this is out of one of those uh, music manuscript books that has the music manuscript and then the lined paper and i've cut a whole lot of pieces to the right height what should we start with let's start with just doing one book at a time because this this bit's hard i think for me anyway so where is one that i've got something folded somewhere that fits the book so let's find our template let's use this as a template this one here it's a pretty good a pretty good fit so if we fold this in half, that's going to be too wide and we're going to end up cutting more off. Which I don't mind, but I've already got like how many strips of paper now because of that. So, what I might do is fold it there. And then and that's not that's not very straight, is it? <laughs> this paper's been dyed, so it does kind of warp it a little bit. It has been in the paper press, but I'm not sure that um, right, and then fold it back this way. But I might wait because the other thing that you have to remember is when you start stacking them in their signatures they push outwards and if you fold it and it's sticking out then you have to refold it so i'm going to leave it sticking out so i'm going to do a whole lot of those i'm going to do So if 11 signatures, I'll do six of the pink. Oops. I'm, I'm being very awkward here, I know, <laughs> to try and get it the same. Ish. Okay, let's just go with that. So I'm going to do six of those. One, two... Down there. Four. Maybe five. Five of the pink, plain pink, and five of the coffee.
in the coffee, I think I'm just going to fold in half and trim. Because otherwise we're going to have too much bulk. These papers that I've dyed just recently, I are a hundred. I thought they were a hundred GSM, but I think they're one twenty. So they're quite heavy. They're good, good heavy um, weight. So if you write on them, it shouldn't bleed through. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two more of these. Ten, eleven. Right, and then I want to do so. Every signature is going to have one of those plain dyed pages, and then I want to do the braille. So I've cut some of these. Yep, these can just be folded in half. Braille. I've done four of those, so this is a bit of a shorty one. So a long one and a short one. Not all the pages have to be the same height because I don't want to waste everything that I've cut. And then two brown ones. Let's see, is that going to be. Where's my little. Yep, so that's almost perfect. So I'm going to tear that down the middle and fold that so that's kind of like a craft this is okay to write on if you want to smooth it out you can just run your bone folder over it and it smooths out some of those bumps so we've got one two three four and then some of the white And again, I think I will just trim this just for for ease of um, make my life easier, basically. <laughs> Even though I like the fluffy edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. So half the pages are going to have a braille. And then we've got some plain here that I've cut to height. That one seems is that the right height? Yep. So let's see what the width of this is. It's just smidgy too long, but I really like that. So I'm going to fold it to about there. So and I'll cut that that bit off. Some people don't like that tatty edge. I do. But again, it can be removed. So let's hit those two plain ones. And then I've got a whole lot of these, which are like a creamy yellow. So they're all plain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. How about that? There's eleven. Right, let's put those aside. Let's go to our ledger. I think I'll do every signature with a ledger. Which way was I going to? That's way too long. I was obviously going to fold it that way. Get our little template here. Yeah, so I'm not, I don't want to sacrifice this number. So I'm going to fold it that way. I'm going to fold it there. And then we can either trim that or fold that. So two of these. We could do 
this. How wide would that be? That'd be too wide. Um, we could do it like so. For this one, I'm going to fold it like about there. Just bear with me. And then this is going to go in like that. And I'm going to fold that along there. And I'm going to tear that down. So if that's going to go in like that, this will have to maybe fold back or be cut off one on the other. So there's two of those. This one I decided I was going to fold this way and I, again I want to keep the number. <laughs> I like the numbers, what can I say? So again we're going to fold that about there. And we will probably either trim that or fold that in. Let's do two of those. Get as much space for writing as we can. Let's hope I haven't made that too wide. No, I think that's good. Okay, so two of those. And some of this lovely paper. I hope that's the right width. Yep, that's good. Two of those. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Another one of these. And it's got some scribbling on it, so maybe we won't use that one. I'm going to fold it there. And then I'm going to just fold that one there and I'll probably just cut, trim that. Okay, so how many ledges? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm going to do go with the ledges, I'm going to do some of this lined paper. So again, I'm going to keep that as my fold. And I'm going to either, yeah, I'll probably just fold these. So eight, nine. And then I've got this, which I'll extend, 10. And this one also will need extending or leave as a short page. Okay, so 11. Okay, we're getting there. It's a lot of papers and it takes a good long time to sort it out. So here, this is actually avocado dyed, but it looks more sort of, it doesn't look that pink. But I want to do some grid. I haven't sized these though, so I'm just going to pop those back. Now, where are we at? Let's, should we turn them into 11 signatures? Are we able to do that? Do we have the space? So we would have one avocado die. We would have one of these. I'm not sure which order yet. And then we would have what one plane? Did we say? Sort of like um, sketch pad, and then a. So that's already 
one, two, three, four pieces, and I'm going to do five or six. So somewhere here, I've got a pile of papers that are sort of have got a pattern or a picture on them. So let's think about that. So there we go. We've got that's really pretty. And it's just tea dyed on the back. And then we've got a plain. Then we've got a lined. We've got a braille. Then we've got a avocado dyed one. So that's five in there. Let's do one with coffee. So a coffee dyed page. Is that coffee or tea? That's coffee. That needs making smaller. And so basically that's how you go about just choosing your pages. It's very repetitive and they get swapped around a million times. I always want, you know, every signature to have every beautiful piece of paper, but that's just not really possible. So I'm going to use this book page and this signature. And then I want, I'm going to use this yellow. And then I'm going to get a braille. So I'm going to go with a white. I think I'm going to go with a white braille paper and I'm going to have to trim that down. I'll get that straight. And we'll see. So I've got a white braille paper, a braille, a picture, a, a dyed, a plain, and a so I haven't done the width on this one here. Let me do that now. I'm going to take it down that much there. Ooh, that did not want to tear. That's okay. I think we're all right. One, two, three. Four, five. So there's five there and there. And then what I keep doing is I keep grabbing my cover and I just keep slotting them in to see how far they're poking out. So obviously we've got some things to fold away here. So I'm going to fold that back in and I'm going to fold this one in. And then we'll see when they're sewn in. Will they stick out? No, they should be fine. So, yeah, that's kind of how I go about it. I think I'm going to put six in. I'm not sure what the sixth one will be. Maybe another lined uh, piece of paper, something like this, because I know it looks kind of boring. So, yeah, but I guess for a writing journal, if you start fancying it up too much, it becomes too bulky. And I'm trying to get more pages in, you know, as many pages in as I can without bulking it up too much. So even these folded back ones are bulking it up. I do put them in the paper press so that they get real flat. So the choice is whether to extend this page or not. Um, I don't think I will. It can be done by somebody who maybe owns the journal. Give them a little bit of freedom in what they want to do. Have I used a short page in here? No. Right, so that's, that's kind of what I'm going to end up doing. And that'll take me a good few hours to get those done. And when I'm sort of nearly there, I'll come back and we'll do the rest together. And that will probably be the end of this video. 
because uh, I know that if people are uh, sort of joining in, they'll want to get their, their papers sorted. Um, I'm still thinking about do I want any book pages in here. So every signature, once it's done sort of to this point, I might go through and say, oh, well, actually, I'm going to take out the Braille paper and put in a book page to make it a bit more interesting, things like that. So this is just the first sort of trial of pages just to get me started and then I'll see what else I've got or would like to put in and I'll I'll muck around with them a little bit more but yeah I'll be back probably for that process if if that's okay and yeah I'll I'll it will be a while but um for you it'll be instant so I'll be back soon and hopefully without this beautiful piece of sunlight all over me. All right. Thanks so much for watching. And, oh, well, I'm not going. I'll see you real soon. Okay. Hi. Bye. It's a few days later, and uh, the most of the pages have been in the book press. So here's my two covers. And I've gone through quite a few papers to have a look at what I wanted to put in. I keep finding something I want to put that in and you know in the end you have to say oh well that's that's all I'm going to put in there's only so much that you can put in so there's a mix in here so once you've chosen your papers and if you want to get if you if you're wanting to make the writing journal I guess putting them under something really heavy for a day or two days or something is a good idea because you're going to get not that nice flat sort of situation to get them in to your spine so most of these are the right height i believe but my width some of the length this way needs to be sorted out so that's what i'm planning on doing next and then some of them will need strengthening so that will be what needs to happen so I'm going to just slip it into here and have we got something poking out how is everybody it's a beautiful day today it's actually really hot outside it's absolutely glorious I went for a lovely walk this morning with the dogs it was a lovely crisp sunny morning so I can't find my template, so I'm just going to have to see what is going on. I'm just going to take this edge off here. You can cut or tear, depending on your preference. It doesn't really matter. And then just go about sizing. Now I don't know where that was. I think it was in the middle. But I think it's still going to be too wet. It's poking out a bit much. Oh no. I think we'll get away with that. And so then, you know, the process is just flicking through a million times to see if it's how you want it. There's holes in here, so I think I will put some tape down there. I'm just deciding whether I want it. I might do it. I'm not sure if I want some floral washi there. I've got this sort of bluey one, so let's use that. And I'll push it mostly this way, I think. It's just to cover those holes. Uh, this is not a weak page or anything, but it has got, already got holes in it, so I guess to lessen the holes, that's something you can do or just masking tape is good I mean masking tape tends to show through what's underneath so that's it's good because it's not obvious that it's there I like using masking tape as well and if you want a more grungy look you can use like paper brown paper tape packaging tape right So some of these pages can't be written on, that's correct, and um, I'm going to strengthen this page here because this is out of an 1800s uh, magazine, 
and for that I am going to use masking tape. So I'm just going to run this down the middle of this page just because it's fragile but I still want to use it because it's very cool. And yeah, it can't be written on, really, but it could be collaged on or um, just left as a decorative page or it could be, yeah, decorated a bit more. Just gonna fold that again. So as you can see, you can see the masking tape, but you can also see underneath it so it doesn't distract from the actual page. Right, so that's my first signature, I think. So it's got a couple of decorative pages, a writing, a writing, writing, writing. Okay, I'm happy with that one. Okay, and then grab the next one. See if it sticks out beyond. This one does a little bit. So that's the page I've done a digital on that I've resized. Let's have a look here. Is it here? I've folded that under. Um, what am I going to do with this? I have got some wide washi that I could put on there. Right, I'm just going to run, that was my neighbour coming over for some lemons. I'm going to run some glue down here. Oh, I left my glue out. It looks a bit... I left my glue with the lid off last night, so it's a bit lumpy. Let's see what happens here. Just to give this extra stick. Okay, I'm going to go like that. I don't really know what this will look like, but let's give it a go. Oh yeah, that's okay. And then I'm going to trim it here. So, as you know, I want to do very minimal decoration on these, on these, um, journals and one is already spoken for and the other two will go in my shop and I've got more cards uh, library cards that will go in the shop at the same time I'm just putting them into packs of 60. There we go. Let's have a look what we think of that. So yeah, they look, I guess they look a little bit boring. Um, okay, I'm going to strengthen that and I'm just going to use masking tape for this one. But yeah, they're, they're for a certain purpose. They're not They're not meant to look super fancy, they're meant to be practical, I guess. Okay, and then we've got the avocado dyed paper there, and then some beautiful music paper, and I am going to strengthen that as well, because it's very old. It actually feels pretty good, but it will be better if it doesn't crack when it's stitched in, especially because it's in the middle. But I might leave that piece because that's just an extra piece. There we go. And someone's written notes on there. It's in pencil so it can be rubbed out. There we go. So that's... So it does take quite... A... Still takes quite a long time, doesn't it? Even though um, we're not decorating. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go through and do all that. And I'm actually going to get ready to get it uh, to sew in. And we'll sew in some of the pages together. 
I think that's probably where we're at now. I'm actually going to end the video here because it's, I've, I've looked ahead and it's just getting too long, the filming that I've done. So I hopefully that is enough, is adequate. Um, I just don't want a video that's like an hour and a half long. It's a bit boring. So we'll sew the signatures in next time. Thank you everyone who's joining in and for your lovely comments. And I hope that this is still uh, helpful for you. Uh, if you've enjoyed it and you found it helpful, I would appreciate a thumbs up or a comment or a like. And I'd love you to subscribe and join our little uh, channel. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for hanging out with me. And I'll see you again soon in the next video. Bye now.